Dave, what, what, what exactly did you see happen in that third period? It looks like some of the guys got their heads out of the game a bit after some of those penalties. No, I don't think we got our heads out of the game at all, actually. I just went 3-3. We, we had a couple good shifts. You know, unfortunate penalty. You know, with a, with a stick penalty on the uh, for the uh, you know for the power play that led to uh, to the winning goal. Um, we actually, you know, it done a pretty good job on on the PK. That you know, that shot from the outside found you know it found the far side, found the post. But um, you know, I didn't like some of the sequence of you know of what happened leading up to the three uh, three goal. Uh, but uh, um, no, we didn't. Nobody lost their heads. Why exactly did you call that? Timeout. What did you see after? Oh, the buildings. You know, there's momentum going, and um, you know, just wanted to settle things down for a couple minutes. I didn't. You know, I thought. Uh, bef- you know, before the uh, before the third goal against. Um, you know, hey, stuff happens all over the place, but game was being pretty call called pretty close tonight, and you know, I felt like there was an obvious call that uh, you know that was missed that led directly to that. Um, you know, to the tying goal. Um, and I just didn't want our guys distracted by that. So I wanted to take the time out, settle things down. Uh, we did that. You know, we came out with a couple couple real good shifts after that and got back to it. Coleman had a great look on the breakaway. What did that, that stop by them kind of do for both, I guess, for both sides in that moment? Well, I don't know. That's, I mean, we had good opportunities. The first two periods, we had, a, you know, we had, we had great looks, um, you know, to build the 3-1 lead. Um, so... I don't think a play like that really affects the game one way or another, momentum-wise, at that point in time. It certainly looked like Adam Larson was really active tonight. What was the conversation with defensemen about jumping into the play and be more, be more active on the, the offensive side? Well, we've we've had more activity out of our D, you know, especially over the last, uh, really over the last couple of weeks. Um, but you know, playing back to back against this team, there's you know, there's some space inside. Um, you know, when when you're playing down low at the bottom in their zone, there's there's space, you know, in in the middle to get inside, um, and you know we wanted to be able to do that. And sometimes it's you know it's it's uh, it's a forward that can jump into that space. Other times, you know, if you don't have a forward available, you need a D, you know a D to fill and, and get into that space in the middle. Um, and you know, Lars did that pretty well tonight, as as did some you know several other or other D. You know, you look at some of the chances Seuss had from from the inside from that area on passouts. Uh, the you know the looks and the chances were there. What did, now that you had a chance to see Matt Beniers in an NHL game, what were your initial impressions? You know, I'm most impressed with his poise um, in, in in all senses, not just uh, not just on the ice. You know, on the ice, his uh, his hockey sense and his ability to know and understand what's around him. You know, uh, on on the ice is uh, is you know he showed to be excellent tonight. Um, you know, he looked comfortable in traffic, and that you know that's a that's a big challenge on night number one. Uh, but most importantly, you know, I thought he you know he just really showed good poise throughout the entire day on the ice, off the ice, and you know, and went out and he, he played a good hockey game tonight. He played hard. Um, he made plays. Um, you know, and it was uh, you know it was you know for him. Uh, I'm sure he's. As disappointed as as everybody is, you know, in not being able to get the uh, the win tonight, um, but uh, you know he, he played a good hockey game on night number one. Dave, is it, uh, am I imagining this, or did, did it just seem like the team picked up a little bit after that first goal and the way he, the Maddie played? And obviously, it's just not all him, but there was some energy. In yeah, I don't know if that's particular to one player uh, making a play. I, I I don't believe it is. You know, we wanted to get off to a good start, and you know, by scoring the first goal of the game, that's you know, that's a good way to do it. Um, you know, we, uh, uh, you know, we, we carried good momentum through the majority, you know, of the first 40 minutes. Um, you know, we always got off track in the first few minutes of, of the third period, uh, with with you know, like I said, with the the sequence of some of those events. But um, you know, that play was that you know, the play for the first goal was just one piece of it. Um, you know our, uh, you know our, our consistency through that, you know through the first two uh, two periods was was really good. Good. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.